Hi, and welcome back to another week of art making. Um, today we're going to be doing an activity that's called the Zentangle drawing activity. Um, what is the Zentangle method? All right, so Zentangle method is just a fun, relaxing, easy way to create beautiful images using structured patterns that include lines and dots and curves. Um, and some of the benefits, you know, that the Zentangle drawing method brings um, are increased levels of focus, creativity, relaxation, stress relief, um, developing of fine motor skills, and um, developing hand and eye coordination. So I will be showing you how we're going to go about this drawing method in the next few videos. Um, and all you would need is really just a piece of paper and a pen of any kind. So in the next um, video, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to be incorporating these patterns um, into creating, you know, one whole image. And I just want to remind you that these pattern design examples are optional to do. You know, I've just done them to practice for myself and just to kind of show you guys. Um, but it can also be used, you know, for future reference and you can keep building them. So I, as you can see, I've just done a few different random shapes um, and patterns, just using lots of lines, dots, and just any kind of repetitive pattern you can think of. Um, so really, this is just like a reference point for me. And also, you know, you can feel free to go online and Google some Zentangle drawing patterns and there's loads, there's probably about hundreds of patterns that you can find to incorporate um, in your artwork. So feel free to do that and I'll be showing you. Alright, so for this method, this is a really easy one. You just need to start by drawing random lines across your paper that um, we're eventually going to fill in with these patterns. Um, Anything you like is fine. So I think I'm going to stop there. And what we're going to do is we are going to be filling each one of these blocks um, with a chosen pattern. So the idea is just to just really, you know, just finish the whole page and just take your time filling in each um, block with a pattern and you know the whole point of this activity is just to kind of zone out and have fun and just relax all right so um, don't worry I will be posting a photo of some of my pattern design examples that you can use as reference so we're just gonna start right you can just pick a block to start with I'm gonna start with maybe this one and uh, I'm probably going to start off with this pattern. So um, it's just really a spiral and I'm using a marker pen. Um, you can feel free to use any pen you like. So here, it's all about um, repetitive pattern making, which is great for, you know, improving, um, like I said, hand and eye coordination and focus as well just taking the time to um, engage in all these little details and just keep going um So just fill up the whole square and the whole point of doing this you know practice run is just so you can keep this um, for future reference as well all I've done is just you know drawn some lines into grids and then adding patterns in every one of them so maybe we could do So it's really all about the details and just allowing yourself to take the time to just get creative and 
really zone out and just just relax it should, doesn't have to be perfect um, it's supposed to be something fun so just keep going and 